Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Thursdays, what's sold on eBay and Poshmark. Poshmark. Yeah, we're getting started a little late today, so yeah. Here we go. How's everybody doing? We're in better moods today. Yeah. Not great, but better. Processed. We processed what happened. <laughs> We've been working through it. Uh, okay, we have some some bangers to show you. Yes, we do. We're going to start in Proshmark with a banger. That's how we're going to start it. We're going to start it off real nice. This is a Brioni. Mmm. Yes. You're not selling menswear. Perhaps you should be. <laughs> I Dan's going to tell you all about this Agreed. while I pick up this off my floor because it's just scared the crap out of me. What was it? I don't know. It's like a dust bunny, but it looked treacherous. It looked treacherous. All right. This is, like Annie was saying, a Brioni, which is super, super nice brand of menswear. Here's what the label looks like. Yes. There you go. Um, it's also it's also super 160s, which is super. Super. Very, super nice. Very fine, lightweight uh, wool. It is it's just a navy blue, I think, right? Yeah, you know, I don't know, but it's sold for one ninety. Yes. Come on now. Brioni used it. to go for like three or four hundred. It yeah. doesn't always anymore. No, but that's but pretty good. That's pretty good for a Poshmark, I think. Yeah. How much do we spend on it? Um four seventy nine. Four dollars and seventy nine cents into a hundred and ninety dollar sale. That's lovely. We listed this February twenty fourth of twenty twenty two, so almost exactly a year ago. And I relisted it one month ago. I believe I dropped the price. So once something's been listed like a year, I'm like, well, we probably have it over. But we probably had it like three hundred, and I dropped it down to one ninety nine. And someone offered one ninety, and I said, yeah, <laughs> that sounds great. That does sound good. And since it's Poshmark, we can put it in any packaging. We don't have to worry about the weight. Uh, and we can use free boxes. Love that. All right. All right. Come on, Lou. Um, let me just get in here. Y'all, I've been listening to the Alec Murdoch trial all day. Oh, man. He took the stand today. Oh, my goodness. Man, that defense, that prosecutor is grilling, grilling him. Wee. Getting very attitude -y. I like it. <laughs> I like it. All right. Okay. I'm all getting the details here. Do -do -do. All right. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Let me make sure I put the right label on this guy. Four three three nine. Four three three nine. Okay. Okay. The next is a viewer sale. I'm trying to find the viewer's name and I can't find it. What? It's on Poshmark. Yeah, it'll be on the label. Seven two four four. Yeah. Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Thank you so much. She wrote us a really lovely message, and it made my day. Yeah, it did. And now we're happier. We like happy messages. Okay, this is a Free People uh, bralette. I love buying these. I find them at the bins a lot. Let's see, I got this one at the bins. It's Victoria's Secret, though. That's what I meant, Victoria's Secret. Any kind of bralette that you can wear kind of exposed, you know what I mean? Like when you're, you, want it to, you want it to show. I love picking these up. And I get them in Victoria's Secret pink. I get them in Free People. I've gotten the, another brand too. Anyway, we buy these a lot. Thank you. This sold for $14. And um, it's black. That's all I had to say about that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the title. I'm just joking. Thank you for your support. We, we really, really, really do appreciate you guys, it. You guys, the best. You're the best. 7245. 7245. Okay, that was just not the right number. It's just, it's just not in Vendu. Hmm. Like, what's going on here? Wonderful. Yeah. Yes, it is. 
Okay. I must have the wrong number. <laughs> we started an inventory today. Let oh, me just inventory tell you. audit. Good times. Definitely had the wrong number Not here. Not good times. This was listed for seven days. Victoria's Secret, black, lace bralette, lightly lined, wire free bra. Love it. Bam. Ew. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Next is Chico's. Yes. I bought this on a total gut instinct because this was at the uh, estate sale where we were buying like all Eileen Fisher and Lafayette 148. And yep. there was this Chico's coat just staring at me the whole time. And I was like. And you, just, you just, you were like. I kept going over there. And I'm like, I need this coat. Do you guys remember? If you guys watch us list live, yes. you remember this from just a few days ago. I had to have it. It's a tapestry coat. I was like, Janice Joplin would have worn this. Like, <laughs> I would never have guessed that. Hey, I would have never guessed that this was Chico's. Yeah. I would have told you it was Free People all day long or Anthropology or something like that. It was Chico's. And I'm going to tell you what the title was. Please do. 4825. Gosh, the picture, I am going to show you this picture because Dan did the front and back. We do, we've been doing this a lot recently. Um, excuse my face. And I think it really helps out. Gosh, give me my go. face. All right. Just obsessed with me. <laughs> okay. The title was Chico's size one US eight coat tapestry patch carpet embroidery cotton blend whoa carpet i did put carpet in there <laughs> it's like a carpet we used to call these carpet coats i i don't know and anyway i guess somebody else did too because they loved it as much as i did i listed it at 69.95 and i think our little bot thing sent out a offer and it was purchased for 63 dollars. awesome for chico's love it I mean, I, I think Chico sells, but I didn't know it sold for $63. I know, right? I didn't either. I was happy with that. And so it sold in, y'all, one day. One day. One day after I cross-listed it to Posh. It was listed for one day on eBay, and then I cross-listed it. So in two days, it sold. I told, Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. Yeah, Some sure. I think a lot of times style kind of goes more important than brand. That, that was cool coat. All right, the next thing is a really weird shirt. I hope the person loves it. <laughs> five, five, two, six. Because it is weird. We got to show them. Okay. I picked it up at the thrift. It's good American, which is a good brand. Oh, it's, is this the... Yeah. <laughs> it has shoulder pads in a t-shirt. the biggest shoulder pads that you've ever seen. I love it. I am so into high fashion things like this. Like, weird proportional. I love this kind of a thing. I hope this person rocks this shirt. Yeah. I think it's meant to be worn under, like a blazer or something, because it's sleeveless. It's a t-shirt. But look at these shoulder pads, y'all. They are gigantic. And they kind of show through, which is why I think it's probably made to go under, like a blazer. It gives you that structure. Y'all, I'm <laughs> loving this. Living for it. Anyway, it's Good American, size 5. They have their own sizing situation. And the title is Good American, Women's Size 5, Extra Extra Large, Strong Shoulder, Sleeveless Top White T-Shirt. Very strong shoulder. Strong shoulder. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, I always try to put, if there's like a vanity sizing or their own special sizing, I put that and then the converted size both in the title. In efforts, if somebody doesn't know that brand very well, they can at least find out if it's kind of their size. Okay. And then I also put it in the bottom as the converted size almost always so like good american would be your brand and then when the, in the drop down menu i would put extra extra large and instead of five okay now okay. some people would put five and that's just the way some people would do it i've tried it that way and i've had more success doing the converted and the same thing with chico's good to know you know what? I might be lying to you about that Chico's coat. Let's see what I put. Because people that wear Chico's, they know what Chico size they wear. So sometimes a Chico's... What if you're like new and you're just getting into Chico's? That's what I'm saying. And if, like that coat <laughs> might get a new might person. Get you in. Might snag somebody. <laughs> okay, that shirt was listed June 24th of 2022. I don't know why it didn't sell. It's awesome. Four, eight, two, five. I'm on the Venue app if you're ever wondering what I'm doing. Okay, I listed this as. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the size? How do I do this? 
you. Tags, quantity, women's. It doesn't show me on the app. Dang Are you it. kidding? What? Dang it. Dang it. Come on. That's unforged. There it is. So maybe I don't have anything to tell you about that. I don't know. It, use your best judgment. Okay. <laughs> All right. And when I relist, I'll do the opposite. So if something hasn't sold and it's in the vanity size, I'll switch it to the... You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Because I'm like, come you. on. All right. Next is eBay. That was okay. four things on Posh. Yep. And I just, I just relisted two of these things yesterday. So I relisted this James Patterson Filthy Rich audio book yeah. on deep this is about jeffrey epstein right I think. yeah and we've had this forever and i just relisted it. i think it was in the wrong category and everything was just all wackadoo wackadoo james patterson audiobook cd unabridged filthy rich i relisted it for 15 dollars, and it's sold let's see here i think we had that listed a long time a long, no, long like, time. like one of the oldest things ever. What? Yeah, I don't. I mean, to be honest with you, when I saw that it was on the pick list, I was like, "What? We have? What is this thing?" We I don't even it know that we have this. May twenty seventh of twenty twenty one. Wow. And then I relisted it two days ago. Can, audiobook can go with email, right? Yeah. Yeah, six ounces. It's eight by seven and a half. So you need to know the measurements for media mail. Okay. Boom. Next is Joan Voss. Vass. Voss. We still haven't gotten confirmation on how to say this. I did look it up too. And I think it's Vass. Vass. But Vass and Bass are both spelled the same way. Uh, Maybe it's Joan Vase. Like Bass. You ever thought of that? I have never ah. thought of that. You might be onto something. Anyway. If you know, please leave the phonetic spelling down please below tell in the comments. Us. <laughs> anyway, this is a shell, which is like a tank top, and it has this gold sequin. We actually sold, this is the second time we've sold this. We got them from two separate places. Isn't that weird? Dan's is it? about to be like is it? movie quoting over I here. Was, I no, know it was, you. It was like right, it was right there. I just know you. <laughs> All right, this was Joan Voss plus size 3X navy blue shell top gold sequin collar, 100% cotton. And this one sold it was listed for a month mm -hmm. and it sold for twenty dollars awesome we got 46 cents into that bag nice right. seven ounces okay we listed these last night yes we did these are eskandar pants and they look just like regular lounge pants i do have a little lesson to teach you here okay we will show you the eskandar logo because it's always worth showing yep these sold in about two hours yep Okay, they're a size three, which again is a vanity size, and I think I call them I call them Eskandar size three US eighteen pull on pants, Pima cotton red, rust orange pockets, wide leg. I put all the colors because they're kind of in between colors. Yeah. I found an exact comp for these in the sold section for forty four dollars, but in their title they called them lounge pants. Girl, no. No. No, 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 no. These are like probably $1,000 at the store. You do not call them lounge pants. You call them dress pants because you can do whatever you want to when you're paying $1,000 for your pants. Amen. That's what I'm saying. Uh, they do go for a little less than the wool and the silk and the linen pants that we normally list for like hundreds of dollars right. because it, they were made of just cotton. I think it was Pima cotton, but... Yeah, it was. Cotton, right? They were just cotton pant, but I tried to upsell it in the title and i listed it at 99.95 instead of the 44 i didn't use that comp because i think they undersold those for sure and these didn't have any flaws and they sold immediately so uh, could i've gotten more maybe probably i'm gonna say probably but a hundred bucks in my hand <laughs> i'm gonna take it right yeah i'm pretty excited about that i i thought i was a little bit cheeky Ge oh really yeah because <clears throat> 44 was the comp right so i yeah. was like doubling more than doubling the comp but i mean the comps don't necessarily always well i know so, you know that's well, what i was saying i was yeah. being cheeky okay. but that's also don't underprice your things i don't fret about underpricing things when someone wants to hand me a hundred dollar bill i'm not gonna lose sleep over that never in my life yeah. oh i could have gotten 120 or i had Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Who cares? <laughs> All right. I willed this. Oh. You did. Oh. Oh, Lord. 
I'm gonna message them. Yeah. So I willed this into being. I relisted it, and it sold. Um, I'm hoping that we. I don't think we disclosed this. Probably not. This was on the mannequin. <laughs> I said yesterday, it's time to change the tie. Time you guys for remember a new tie. that? Yep. And then we sold a tie that was on the mannequin. So now we, we have to change the tie. There is a little bit of damage on the back here, and I think I'm going to have a message. We are going to send it, but we'll probably give a little bit of a discount. Yeah. Uh, it only sold for $12.95. So it's not like crazy, but Worst case the... scenario, somebody's getting a free tie. <laughs> right. And the brand is Givenchy. Yes. And this is very, very vintage, like the vintage. <laughs> but the uh, it is authentic, and the in the way you can tell with silk ties, there's a lot of ways. But um, if you open it up, I'm gonna try to show you guys this. Uh -oh. Don't look at my nails right now, okay? If you open it up like this, I know this kind of looks sus. There's a little, and this is true for Hermes as well. There's a little thread. See that thread? Poking out, hello, hello. I see it. <laughs> that thread is the end of the weave. So that's hand woven, the whole nine. That's a very nice tie. Look for the little thread in the pocket. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the next thing. Go since for we're it. in a little bit of a rush. Yeah. We're not like rushy, rushy. All right, I love picking up grab bags of defunct writing instruments pens markers because once you find your favorite pen if you're anything like me and they stop making your pen everybody's got a favorite pen everybody right what's everybody. your favorite do you have a favorite not currently oh. okay mine used to be the pilot varsities remember those i still have some of their save from a junk bag <laughs> <laughs> i love a pilot varsity anyway these are the jotters from parker and Parker is a nice pin brand. I'm gonna try to just show you each thing. Every time I put it here, it just would, loves my face. Anyway, hold on, y'all. <laughs> and uh, they do have these like ready to go pens. Par Parker sells like nicer pens, but these are like the kind you can get hanging on the rack. And anyway, I got a bunch of these and they've been selling. Yep. I had, they were in navy, and anyway, they have a mechanical pencil that I got as well. This sold for $15. Parker Maroon Silver Jotter Ball Pen Black Medium Point 90s, brand new in package. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. And I know I didn't, we need a ticket for this. Five ounces. We need, we need a ticket for, ticket for that. Five ounces. So I'm just really happy. I probably have 25 cents into each of these because I got a big old bag of them. So look at the stationery and the writing and the office supplies. I think there's money to be made there. Next is a viewer sale. And it's going to our friend Ruth. Thank oh, you so much. Man. Ruth, I, you're the best. You are the best. I love these pants so much. These are from the brand Judy Blue. And you guys need to know about this brand. I know that a lot hey. of people on YouTube talk about it and for good reason. It's a very, very good jeans brand. It sells almost immediately. This is going to a viewer, but I have no doubt that if Ruth didn't snag them, somebody else would have. These are Judy Blue Katie Mid-Rise Capris Light Wash Denim Stretch Skinny Fit. She bought them as soon as I listed them. That's true. She was waiting for me to list these two. Ready, with finger on the trigger. We, we did a, a haul of this stuff, so I'm wondering <laughs> if she was like in the wing waiting. Safe search, maybe. Uh huh. What's that weight? Uh, two. Okay, so how much do we have in those? In 99 cents? Mm hmm. And April had taken photos of them, and I listed them at $26.95, and that is what they sold for because Ruthie is awesome. Yes. <laughs> right, right on the edge there. Do we need to take them out of the bag? Ruth will understand. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth will definitely understand. You can't double bag when we're right on the edge. I did weigh them, and I think I knew I was on the edge, which is why I asked him if we needed to take them out of the bag. How about now? Yeah. Sweet. All right. 
Thank every, you so every much. Every tenth of an ounce counts. It really does. I hope you love those. I love that brand. They're similar to Democracy. It's not a ton of return, so I wouldn't pay up for them. But if you can find Democracy or Judy Blue at the bins, two thumbs up. Yeah. All right. Okay, the next is Donna Karen. Oh, these pants are gorgeous. Is Donna, Donna Karen having a moment? No, I think it's knitwear is having a moment. All right. These are knit pants, which I'm also happy to sell since it's about to be springtime. Are they over? Nope. Uh, Donna Karen women's size large merino wool brown knit wide leg trouser pants palazzo. Yeah, that's nice. Um, these pants are gorgeous and when you see them in person they're way better than in the photos i must say it's not going to show you but it's just wide leg sweater they're like made out of sweaters they're like sweater imagine yeah. a sweater for your legs so leg nice. sweaters so nice and soft donna look how wide leg these are the, this is what's having the moment it's the style not the brand this wide leg knit stretch Neutral colors having the biggest moment right now. Italian made merino wool, super nice. Donna Karen is expensive. You want to show them the label? Donna Karen's is expensive. Yeah. And we've been selling, like, we sold that asymmetric skirt. Uh, I think we sold a couple and we sold a sport uh, blazer, women's blazer. I don't know, maybe, maybe she's having a moment. Maybe Donna's having a moment. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. We got Donna and then we got Diane. Mm -hmm. So the last thing that we sold is Diane von Furstenberg, women's size four, Janetta, solid black print. I don't know why it says, oh yeah, because there's a little print. Jogger silk pants. So it's all about the silhouette and the fiber when it comes to selling dark colored pants. Because look, we just sold two back to back, two totally different styles. It's also about side light in your photographs. That's true. You gotta have side light. <laughs> We, we do it all the time in the lives. We even had a little lighting lesson in one of our lives this week. Diane von Furstenberg. Uh, we sell her things, but we try not to pick it up if it's toasty, meaning like washware. That silk really, the prints on the silk dresses don't do well with washware. Yeah. So we left a couple at the bins the other day. Uh, but these are joggers. What makes a jogger is the... Elastic at the bottom. These are super cool. I know, right? They're kind of street wear -y. Yeah. Kind of, oh, I wish I could wear pants like that. <laughs> 16 ounce. My butt is too big to wear something like that. It would be like all butt all the time. Nah. Nah, I'd be like, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it would be horrible. I need some, you know, I have to wear jeans like to hold it in. <laughs> I swear, it would be like, I would, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I hope whoever gets these loves them. They sold for $31. And we spent what on them? Uh, six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. That's a lot for us. It must have been. I didn't get these. Uh, I am not sure. We don't know. I'm gonna tell you how long they've been. They have not been listed that long. Maybe they were in the death pile. I can see that happening. I did use a stock photo. Oh, they've been listed for one month. Six ounces. And they were listed at forty nine ninety five, and they sold for thirty one. Thank you. Yeah, you're not supposed to use stock photos, but I do sometimes. It's like not good. Sometimes you need to tell the story, and you just don't have the way. Like I wasn't gonna put them on my body. We've already discussed this. <laughs> right, let me throw these posh marks into their own bag over here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we started our inventory today. Thanks to our friend Angela, who I had this idea for a spreadsheet and she implemented my idea. I'm not selling spreadsheets. That's not what I meant. Don't come at me like that. <laughs> I hate spreadsheets. But basically, what I wanted to do is compare the SKU numbers that Vendu thinks are active with the SKU numbers eBay thinks were active and see if there were any that were missing. And boy, were there some that were missing. So we're just comparing two columns. And um, 
I don't know, we got through like 10 so far and it's... It's helping. It's eye-opening. Definitely, yes. Are you ready? Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, the James Patterson. Okay. Six three two one. What is it? Joan that. Six three two nine. Six three two nine. Ah, niner. niner. Did I catch a niner in there? <laughs> we have Colin from a walkie talkie. Um, next up. Padded flat rate, seven two eight five. The tie. Oh, I have the refund. We have to send Patricia a refund. I wrote it down. Okay. So when we mentioned that guy about the tie, we'll do, we'll a, do refund. a refund. Yeah. We're having a business meeting, excuse us. <laughs> Quit eavesdropping, get away. <laughs> uh, the Parker pen. Judy Blues for Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Never know how excited to get, I'm sorry. Seven one eight five and seven zero nine zero. All right, we made it. We made it. We made it. Twenty minutes till post office close. That's plenty of time for me to get over there, drop this stuff off. See how much then, we made. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, bye. Bye. What are you doing, Chatterbox? You guys want your snacks? Always, always and only. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Come on, let's go over here. You guys like your new bed? You sharing it? Yep, good for you. All right, come on. There we go. That's the that's the ticket. scarfed it looking for more all right you guys say bye we'll be back in a minute bye picnic <laughs> you guys we just got a package from shannon <laughs> oh my god look at these amazing things that she makes they're magnets but okay. this one says come on eileen is that like a patch yeah, it's like a patch that's and like a magnet. That's like legit. I know. It's like on leather. Wow. And it's embroidered. Dang. I have some embroidery need. <laughs> Wait, Shannon, I'm going to get at you. What? Look at this office hose. Yes. <laughs> this is actual hustle merch. Shannon, do you have a website? Because I feel like you could make some money selling this stuff. Yes, yes totally. Y'all, leave a comment below if you want Shannon to make these and make her lots of money. I need a baby wife. <laughs> Yo, I've been laughing about this for like 10 Hot minutes. Hot tip! Hot tip! I have been laughing about these for at least 10 minutes. Yep. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, I love them so much. We're going to put them everywhere. When you least expect it, they're going to pop up in a video. I love it. Look Yo, at you with the trial coverage. I got this trial You got the live, live, who are you right now? Yes. <laughs> I got the trial going on. Oh my god, it's just magnetic. No. no. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm going to yeah. figure it out. Oh, my yeah. God. I love yeah. these so much. <laughs> I love them so much. Thank you. How do we do? Okay. I guess I better. Oh, I was. Y'all, I was cross-listing, and then the package came, and I 
just I just need a sec. Just give me one little moment here. Yeah. Thirty five. Here we go. Here we go. List. I was cross listing. <laughs> I was like, Amy, get it together. Cross list your things. Okay. All right. Analytics. That's what we need. How'd we do? That's the month. That's not what we want. Today. Today. Hey. We met our goal today. Sweet. That's awesome. Uh, $391 in profit. That's great. So that means the fees and everything have been taken out. We'll check our month to date. $6,705 for the month. All righty. And we have five more days. We do. That's like a week. Yeah. And our goal previous to this was 6000 so I feel good. I do too. I still want to get to 9000 a month. Like, yeah. I really do. And we've been listing. You gotta push it. So today I, oh, oh. Hey. Today I listed 15 things. And then Dan normally lists during the day, too, a couple of things at least. And then we found at least five things that were not listed. So I just had to... Yeah. Relist? Stuff that we had in inventory. Right. We have it here. Yeah. It was in the box, but it was not on eBay. Yeah. And here's the deal. Here's why I think it happened. No, I don't think eBay's dropping our listings. I know there's this, like, conspiracy that eBay deletes your listings. I don't think so. I think what happens is when someone cancels an order... And it happens to us a lot. They'll be like, can you cancel? I found it a different size or I didn't look at the price or whatever. I ordered this by mistake. When that happens, it doesn't relist itself. And right. we didn't notice that forever. Right. I, I didn't know it until like three days ago. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. I thought it automatically relisted. So did I. It does not. No. So all of the people, and we both thought this because it's got to be. It's not just us, seriously. I bet you some of you are watching this like, wait, it doesn't relist it? No! <laughs> so I, I can imagine we probably have at least 100 things because we get cancellations pretty often. Mm -hmm. At least 100 things that aren't up on eBay anymore. Luckily, I do have everything mostly cross-listed, so it's still on some platforms, hopefully. Hopefully. But it's not on eBay, which is our main platform. So hopefully we're going to go through a little bit each day. We could get through, I don't know, 20 or something today. And then we'll get those listings up as well without having to make more room because they're already here. They live with us. Yeah. We've got fosters here. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Freeloaders. Oh, Shannon, thank you so much. Oh. It's so nice. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you live listing on eBay, 7.30 p.m. Central. Where? Uh, on the other channel. Which is linked? Down below. Down below. Come and hang out in the chat. We have a good time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.